protests at the U.S. Supreme Court over abortion rights. Leaked documents show the Supreme Court is considering overturning Roe versus Wade. It's very much every one of our worst fears realized. The Supreme Court justices now understand early human development so much better than we did in the 70s. We're taking a look at what this could mean for abortion protections here in Colorado. We knew this was coming and we knew we had to act. Plus, Colorado lawmakers want to help the missing middle, the legislation designed to make owning a home more affordable. And the Avs begin their pursuit of Lord Stanley's Cup. The playoffs start tonight. I feel good about our team and excited to see what we can do. We're fully healthy now. New this hour, Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts confirms the leaked draft opinion suggesting the Supreme Court may overturn Roe versus Wade is authentic. He just ordered an investigation into what he calls a quote egregious breach of trust and says if the leak was intended to undermine the integrity of the court, it will not succeed. Thanks so much for joining us for Denver 7 News at 11. I'm Jason Grenauer. Now it's important to remember the leak shows a draft opinion from back in February. That means Roe versus Wade, which guarantees federal abortion rights, is still in place. This does not represent a decision by the court or a justice's final position. But this leaked draft and its possible impl massive implications is bringing protesters to the Supreme Court. They are outside right now on the steps of the Supreme Court, both sides right now, and they plan to be out there for the majority of the day, as well as here in Colorado. We'll get to that in just a moment. But if this draft decision stands, it would mean a shift in reproductive rights here in the U.S. Faith Abube reports from Washington on the case that caused the court to write this opinion and the reaction from President Joe Biden. Overnight, hundreds breaking out in emotional demonstrations outside the U.S. Supreme Court. Moments after a stunning leak of a first draft opinion suggesting a majority of the justices on the nation's highest court are set to strike down federal abortion rights that have been enshrined in law for almost 50 years. If the rationale of the decision as released were to be sustained, a whole range of rights are in question. And the idea we're letting the states make those decisions would be a fundamental shift in what we've done. The preliminary Supreme Court opinion published by Politico apparently shows a 5-4